Now, um, the very point of departure is what uh, I initially referred to as knowing your opponent. Now, knowing your opponent is all about who it is that I'm dealing with. And in this case, uh, we're looking at what exactly comprises paper one. Remember, paper one comprises of three sections. That's section A, comprehension, and then section B, summary, and section C, language. But now, my colleague and I will like to stress right from the word go, the most important thing, instructions, instructions, instructions. 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 You follow instructions, there's just no way you can go wrong. Much as we said, there are three sections. Remember, there are different instructions for each section. So if you keep to the instructions, as we will go through them one at a time, then there's no way you can go wrong. The three sections, as we said, section A, comprehension for 30 marks. And then we have section B, 10 marks. And then a section C, 40 marks. The total, 80. That's the information for you. That's what makes up you know, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this opponent that you'll be facing uh, come uh, the, the uh, December exams. The instructions now, let's take them one at a time. As you will see, you have to answer all the questions. Unfortunately, you have no options. With paper one, you have to do everything that stands there, isn't it, Lincoln? Tough luck. Sorry. So <laughs> if you follow instructions and uh, you answer all the questions, then uh, you have all the chances in the world of getting your 80 marks. And mind you, it's possible to get 80 marks. It is. It? It, is it is possible. The most important thing is follow instructions, take your time, and there's nothing that will stop you. Now, that's the point of departure answer all questions. You just don't leave anything uh, uh, unanswered. This uh, instruction number two appears something not very serious. Start a section on a new page. Now, yes. whose advantage is it that you start on a new page? Of course it is to your advantage. Remember, the examiners will be looking at all the work that you're doing, the instructor to look at every single word that you have written. But now to make it easier for them and to make sure that they don't miss out on anything, it would help you a great deal if you could start off on a new page. Start each section on a new page. Listen, the booklets are for free. Yes. So you're not losing anything, you know, starting on a new page. <laughs> you don't have to save on those pages. So yeah. once you're done with uh, uh, section A or a subsection of uh, section A, you at liberty to just, you know, uh, draw a line and then go to the next page. Yes. Please. These will work to your advantage. Another one, instruction number four, leave a line after each answer. Um, some of us have horrible handwriting, and I think uh, you don't have to look far to realize uh, who is the candidate of horrible handwriting, as uh, you can see in this case. Now, you can imagine if I have a handwriting like this, and then every line is uh, punctuated with something like this, definitely. Uh, the examiner or the assessor may not be very happy with that, or perhaps uh, he or she might miss out on something or the other. Now, the most important thing is, at least if there's a line in between, chances are, you know, the examiner may follow what I've written That's and correct. realize that there was conclusion to uh, the point I had made earlier on. That's correct, Bully. Thank you. Thank you, Lincoln. And then uh, um, instruction number five, you need to answer and you need to number your answers correctly according to how they are uh, numbered in the question paper. It won't help you to start off with number one, and then uh, the next uh, uh, line we have uh, uh, number 14, and then uh, the next line is 1.3, something like that. We need, you need, actually, candidates, you need to answer the questions, actually to number the questions exactly as they're numbered in the question paper. Look, we're not suggesting that you get stuck with 1.2. If you find 1.2 challenging, what you can do is leave a space for 1.2, yes. isn't it, Lincoln? It is. Rather than uh, 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 just after 1.1, 1 .1, uh, write 1.4. At least leave the space for 1.2, enough space, obviously. See, that's where the skipping a line after each answer comes in handy. Mm -hmm. See, now, you leave a line, and then now uh, you write 1.3, you don't provide the answer immediately. You provide to one, I mean, you go to 1.4, and then you go through all the paper. And once you're done with that section 
or once you're done with the whole question paper, then you can come to your difficult questions or those questions you found uh, challenging. Uh, instruction number six. Uh, I don't want to hear anything like, look who's talking. I'm watching <laughs> you. You just don't even think of saying that. You need to write neatly and legibly. Look, uh, this may be horrible. I don't deny it. But at least you can see this looks like an eight and this looks like an, a zero. Doesn't it, Lincoln? I hope it doesn't look like six. Good. <laughs> so make sure that at least, even those of us who are supposed to be doctors by now, make sure that at least somebody can see what you have written neatly and legibly. And you will see later on what neatly and legibly uh, uh, means once my colleague starts writing. Mm -hmm. Now, this will mainly apply to uh, section C, this one, space special attention to uh, spelling and sentence construction. It will mainly apply to section C, where we strictly want you to be able to uh, dot your I's and cross your T's. We will get to that uh, you know, as time goes on, and then uh, we will keep referring to these and uh, bring it back to your attention as much as we can. But remember, up until we have you out of your face, you, you have us out of your face, we will keep stressing. Instructions, instructions, instructions. instructions, instructions. instructions. You follow those instructions, there's nothing that's going to go wrong.